everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be an Ulta haul. I placed a couple of different orders on the Ulta website, and everything came in, so I'm excited to show you guys what I picked up. I actually tried out a lot of the products that I'm going to be showing you guys today, so that's what we've got going on. This video will be up next. I tried out a bunch of Tati's favorite products. That's actually what sparked my main Ulta order so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead dive in show you what I got everything will be linked down below as always if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started so first things first we have a Kylie Jenner lip kit this came for free in my order I'm guessing they're just trying to get rid of inventory this is actually in the shade Ulta Beauty which I thought was quite interesting <laughs> Um, I know Kylie just recently redid her like lip formula and packaging so uh, we have a little liquid lip here is this a liquid lip yeah matte liquid lip and lip liner here the color is actually really pretty so I'll probably end up trying this out at some point um, but I thought that was just kind of funny and I thought I would include that since it came with my Ulta order. So the reason that I placed the order in the first place is because Miss Tati, Tati Westbrook, aka Glam Life Guru, had to go and post a favorites video. And of course I trust Tati and her opinions on makeup, so um, I bought a lot of her favorites, a lot of her recommendations. So let me show you some of the stuff that I picked up. Everything is from Ulta. Like I said, <laughs> this is an Ulta haul, duh. But everything that she recommended is from the like drugstore slash more affordable side of Ulta, which is pleasing. It didn't, it didn't, I mean it hurt my wallet, but it wasn't as bad as it could have been. So to start off, we have some products here from JCat. So she talked about these palettes, these masterclass palettes and how they are dupes for the RCMA foundation palettes, which I actually have the RCMA ones and I have never used them. These ones are $8.99 compared to $50 a piece. I'm pretty sure the RCMA ones are. These come with eight shades. The RCMA come with a lot more than eight, but of course these are always customizable and you can like mix and match the shades and create your own shades. So this one here is the medium deep palette. I did try this out today. You'll have to wait and watch the next video for my thoughts. <laughs> but I only tried out this one shade. It's definitely something that has a learning curve to it. I am not an expert on this type of product, so definitely something that I'm going to work on, practice, and watch some videos to try to get better at. But that's the shade that she showed in her video. I also ended up picking up the light medium shade. So I'll show you what this looks like compared to the medium deep. Here we have medium deep and here we have light medium. I feel like the variation in the light medium one is like not, <laughs> not there. Um, like these all look almost the same. Like three of them look exactly the same and then two other ones look exactly the same to each other. So um, I don't know about like the variation within this palette, but uh, you do have some different depths and undertones in this one at least. Um, but these are very interesting and like I said, I'm gonna have to do some research to figure out how to use these better <laughs> But um, I'm really excited that I ended up picking those up. I also decided to pick up the neon one Oh, I'm so excited about this. I think they have one other one. It's called the bold primary So um, I'm guessing that has primary colors in it, but I don't know what it looks like This has some primary colors in it. So here is the neon one. I think this is the neon one Yes, this one is neon, obviously. <laughs> I was just making sure I had the right name. So this has really fun colors. Again, I'm really excited to try this one out. I did not get a chance to try that out, obviously. Otherwise, you would probably see it on my face. Um, but I thought these were really fun. And for nine bucks, the price is not bad. And I think these will be an interesting venture for me to experiment with. Another palette that I ended up picking up is this one here from Physicians Formula. This is the All Star palette. This is so cool. It is a face palette with six different classic Physicians Formula products. So I did notice while using this that there is actually four limited edition shades in here and then two permanent. So you've got their new matte bronzer, which I love. I have the individual. It's amazing. You have the butter bronzer. Again, I love. I have the individual. You get this rose highlighter here. So the rose highlighter and the butter bronzer are the only two permanent shades. The other four are 
limited edition whatever that means I mean I feel like we know what that means but like it means something different for every brand so um, you also have the powder palette multicolor pressed powder here this is the happy booster glow and Mo mood boosting blush and then you have this powder palette mineral glow pearls which this one looks insane I don't know if it has an oh it does have an overspray I was gonna say I don't know if it's like an overspray but it looks like straight glitter so it has like a white glitter on top <laughs> and then it looks like more of like a champagne highlight underneath that is interesting I feel like I don't know is that something that you would just like wipe off the top layer to get rid of it is it an inconvenience or does it add to the product I don't know I feel like I'm like mixed but you can see how it's darker where I swatched it so I think this is a fun palette the price is right I love the packaging and um, yeah it's super super cute I already would highly recommend that palette next I picked up a couple of products from the brand undone beauty this is my first time trying anything from this brand so the first thing that I picked up is the warm-up bronzer so this is a four-in-one radiance palette and this is what it looks like you have two highlighter shades two bronzer shades Tati likes to use this along with the Undone Beauty brush. This is called the Seamless Brush. Flawless face and body results. Um, handmade, soft, and durable. Blends makeup to a no makeup finish. Creates contours and applies creams. It's vegan and cruelty free. So this is what the brush itself looks like. It has like a nice curve to it. The bristles are very soft. It has a little handle here. So she likes to just go into the bronzer side and apply it to help match her neck to her face or just give like a nice bronzy glow. I do have a demo of this in my upcoming video so I'll save that <laughs> for the video just so you guys can see um, and have a little bit of a surprise. But um, here's what they look like. I don't remember the price point. I think all of their products might be vegan and cruelty free, which I think is really cool. Um, but I had to buy these separately. And then also I was just on the undone beauty section and I saw their lip to cheek palettes. It's a three in one color cream. And here's what this one looks like. I picked this up in the shade rosy. So let me go ahead and open this up. She did not recommend this. I just happened to see it on the website and I was like, that looks so pretty. Um, I'm confused though because they all look exactly the same. I don't know if they're supposed to be different shades. Ooh, that's pretty. It looks like, um, like a lip gloss. I'm gonna swatch them all next to each other and let's see if we can see a difference. There's definitely a separation like with the pan so I'm kind of confused they look exactly the same I see no variation in there but there's definitely like little lines to separate the colors so that's kind of weird it definitely blends out really nice I just kind of blended those all together it feels like nothing it's not super like tacky or glossy or anything it just has a really pretty nice wash of color i feel like this is definitely like a blendable product as you can see it really blended that out it's probably also buildable but i feel like that's really nice i'm excited to try this out i was a little bit confused on why it's separated out into different shades when it looks like the same shade in every single pan speaking of cream blush i did pick up a cream blush that tati recommended and this is from flower beauty this is the gel crush lip and cheek and I have this in the shade Strawberry Crush. It looks like a little deodorant stick. It's so cute. I actually just got some of these from Pixie that look similar. They're a little bit larger. Um, but let me kind of show you what this looks like. Swatch. That's like a deeper swatch. It's a very sheer wash of color. Beautiful shade. I love the shade on this. Again, this is something that I am wearing today, so you'll have to wait and see how I apply it and my complete thoughts on it for the testing out video, but um, I think this is super cute and I kind of want to get some of the other shades, so yeah, there's a little sneak peek on my opinion. <laughs> and then I also did an in-store pickup where um, I ordered these foundations from Catrice 
which um, she just did, she being Tati. <laughs> uh, Tati just did a video testing out this foundation, talking about how amazing it was, so of course I had to try it out. This is what we've got going on today, so far so good. I ordered it in two shades, I have four and 10. I realized after ordering this that Tati wears shade 40 and both of these were too light for me. I did make it work, um, but I would say that I would need something deeper than shade 10. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know where else you can buy this, but the shades on the Ulta website were kind of like weird. Like they didn't have all of them on there for some reason. So um, yeah, I picked both of these up. I think it's like 11 bucks, but it was like buy one get one 50% off. So I got one for 11, one for like 550, I guess. So if you and a friend wanted to try out the foundation or if you wanted to pick up a couple of shades like I did, Ulta is the way to go because it was on sale if you buy two. So I bought those. They have nice glass uh, bottles. Super nice, super cute. It's the hydrating foundation, by the way, and it says it has hyaluronic acid and that it's a long wear foundation. Um, it also says true skin but better on the back. So there's a lot of claims here on this foundation. Um, it's hydrating, has a soft matte finish, medium to high coverage, and leaves your skin with a comfortable skin feeling. And then the very last thing that I picked up is not because of Tati, but because of TikTok. Now, I'm actually going to be trying this out today in a TikTok. Um, you might see it the same day. Hopefully, I think I'll be posting it today, which is Friday. So, this is from KVD Vegan Beauty. This is the Dazzle Stick in the shade Hail Surge. And I saw this on TikTok and I knew that I needed it. Holy crap, I cannot wait to try this out. I haven't tried it out yet um, because I want to save my first impression for the TikTok video. But it's like a little eyeshadow stick and it looks so sparkly and beautiful. So go follow me on TikTok if you want to see my thoughts on this. But that is everything that I picked up from Ulta. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. I love you all so, so much. And stay tuned for the next video where I will be testing out almost every single one of these products in that video. And then you'll see the results. Well, you already see the results here, but you'll see my opinions and whatnot as I'm trying the products. So anyway, I love you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.